like crazy in this club Hanging with my boys, ladies for us We gonna show the girls just how we roll Cause there is nothing here will stop us, no Good evening, guys. Uh, Burning Air Red here from uh, Nav TV. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Um, yeah, well, it's going to be an interesting game this evening between uh, White Baroa. I'm struggling to pronounce it properly. Sorry, my video feed is disappearing there for a second. Um, between White Baroa and Olsen uh, for the ESL Polish Pro Series game. Uh, this evening at uh, 8 o'clock, or due to start at 8 o'clock or so. Um, let's just quickly have a chat with regards to the statistics on how uh, both these teams have been doing uh, during this uh, during this competition, uh, or, or more so league. Um, just quickly having a quick look here, just to s confirm. So a lot of people are favoring um, Y Baroa to actually take this one uh we've got alson though that have uh in my opinion won a little bit more games than uh what the wide rower team has um sorry sorry apologies there actually the, the betting is actually three to one for uh in favor for alson so alson's actually the stronger team here um wide rower has not won a, a game yet they lost 17 16 to dobrian gaming uh, 9 16 to Virtus Pro and then 12 16 to Inchok. Um, I just got the information out with regards to this game, so we're going to be tuning in in the next few seconds. Um, a second here. Right, okay, cool. So the uh, map that they're going to be playing on this evening is um, Dust2, as far as I can see. Well, I'm loading into Dust2 at the moment, so I'll just have to confirm. Yes, it is. So this is going to be an interesting one. Um, obviously, who just decides to start off on, one, on a particular side? Um, a lot of people would say that, uh, you know, the, the Dust2 map is a little bit more favored on the CT side. Some say it's actually T's. This is going to be very interesting to watch. It depends really on the team itself. I mean, from different leagues, etc., that I've casted, I've uh, seen that it's, you know, it, it really varies on the end of the day. So uh, let's just take us into the game now. We've got a couple of members uh, from both sides on the server. And, uh, obviously now just waiting for the rest of them to pitch up and then we will be ready to go. So anyway, my name is Burning Red. Welcome to uh, the Nav TV cast this evening between uh, Olsen and Y Baroa. Uh, it is going to be, in fact, uh, I'm not going to say it's going to be a one-sided affair. I think it's more so going to be a pretty close game because we do look at the scores uh, uh, Y Baroa has actually, you know, produced against the other uh, Polish sides, Dobrin Gaming versus Pro, uh, 9-16, 7-16. Um, 12, 16 against InShock. So I, I, you know, it's it's very difficult to say that this is going to be a one-sided affair. The bets do seem different, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, so we'll whilst we wait for the guys to pitch up, um, yeah, I'll play some uh, some more music for you guys.
from the ashes Born 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 from the Born from the You can't suffocate my spirit Cause I'm the king of my own throne, throne, oh, 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 oh. King of my own throne, my own throne You'll never see me fall, fall You'll never see me fall Watch me
Right, okay, so it looks like uh, the actual map they're going to be playing this evening is going to be DE Train. Uh, I do apologize for incorrectly informing you guys they're th thinking it was Dust 2, but uh, yeah, well, I misread that for a second. Um, anyway, it's going to be... I think this is going to be quite a close game, in my opinion. It just needs to be really... Um, it needs to be looked at, I guess, from, 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 from both sides. Um, I think... You know, Wybro at the moment haven't won a game in the Polish uh, ESL, but, um, you know, that could change this evening. Um, this might be a favoured map here for them. Olsen, um, of course, they've, they've taken on quite a number of teams already and uh, produced some decent results as well uh, against No Mercy 69 there. And then um, My Revenge, they also beat 16-14, and then there was a 2-0 win against Just Do It. So... The Just Do It team, I haven't really seen much uh, at all. Um, I'm obviously quite a bit new to the cast, uh, or the ESL Polish uh, scene. But um, yeah, I'm quite excited to cast this game here between these two uh, pro sides. So anyway guys, I'm just waiting now for the confirmation on the start. There we go, match has restarted. And we are ready to go. Right, so here we, this is uh, the knife run now uh, for sides. Um, in my personal opinion, the T side is obviously the more favoured side here on the defensive area, but I have seen teams play quite a strong T side as well. So it's 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 difficult to say as as I'm pretty new um, to the ESL Polish scene, and you know I'm I'm, I'm studying the teams as they as they play. Um, this is going to be quite an interesting map. I mean. In, in my opinion here, I'm, I'm just waiting now, obviously, for the results here. And things are looking pretty good at the moment for, um, well, both sides. It's two apiece now. Both of, uh, well, there we go. Looks like uh, Wybro are getting the first uh, win on the knife round. So they're going to be calling for the swap and playing as the CT side here. Very interesting um, call there. But uh, something I semi-predicted as uh, this is kind of more so a T-biased map. Uh, sorry, CT bias map, where, you know, in the past, uh, I've seen, like I've said before, players do preferring the T side, but very rarely. Anyway, just be just waiting now for one of the members to pitch up, and then we'll be ready, set. Okay, cool. So, uh, the lineup this evening uh, for the Wybrower side is going to be Holy, uh, Sanien, Nero, Matthew, then Sozon. Uh, Sozon, I'm going to have to call him that. Uh, from the Elson side, we've got Rallon, Diamond, Michi, Matty, and Lataija 3D, something 3D. <laughs> um, or Rallon Phoenix. Interesting, interesting names here, of course. Um, but we're going to be kicking this uh, first round now. Kicking it off. And that's going to be quite an interesting one, I do believe. Obviously, the CT side wanting to get the first round in their name, Why bro away here. So they're going to try and capitalize and aim for that 10-round mark. It is going to be a difficult one, as they are the least favored team here. Let's quickly have a look at the overview. We're seeing those three guys um, playing around the mid-side area. A little bit of a turnaround here from Elson now. Moving that bomb perhaps on the inside. Oh, it doesn't look like they are going to be going live. It's... Uh, there we go. So now the restart is in effect here between these uh, two sides. So hyper shots, interesting. Um, interesting they got that uh, that um, that name. So hyper shots now. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna maintain calling them uh, Hyper Wybro <laughs> against the Elson .go team here. So now we're gonna start the pistol run um, between the, these two. The had funds are called, and we're seeing that uh, that bomb moving towards the alley side area and the outside breach coming into effect here from Wybro. I mean, sorry, from Elson and uh, the defense at the moment pretty much in place. We're seeing a bit of a maybe a bit of a juke on the inside now. Only seeing. There's a couple of members now. There is a bit of a rotation now into the inside bomb site, leaving the outside open for that uh, alley side push. Looking at it now, we see Matty doing quite well. With the first pick, tries to get a second, gets taken out there by Sozan. And 
And uh, now the outside breach in effect here for the Alsen team. A little bit of a problem now for Wyboroa as they over-rotated, in my opinion, a little too much. And uh, they are managing to take the picks. It is a 2-1-2 two -two situation. Still favorable for the T-side as they've got the bomb down. Nice play there from Diamond as he takes out Nero. And Soz on the last one left. Goes down there to Diamond. And the score now 1-0 to Alsen. So a very good start here for the T-side. Uh, it's uh, obviously something they were betting on. On getting and now they they can start capitalizing maybe even causing a little bit of a snowball effect going forward we're seeing the cz75 purchase here from the wyboroa team a very effective gun in my opinion although you know not seeing many uh p250 plays some aggressive play there from sanian getting taken out there by matty he manages to take down uh Rallon phoenix though and uh, also aggressive push there from Nero, not really working out for him. As he gets taken out by the other Alsen player. So now these uh, mid-side, outside breach now in effect here between the two. Nice pick there from Damon as uh, Holly Jr. goes down. Ooh, interesting play there from Mifu. Then going down to Matty. And the elimination of the CTs in progress. Not a bad eco round there for the uh, Wybrower team. Uh, as we can see, they did take out two guns in that process. So, you know, maybe just hammering the uh, T-side finances a little bit there. But we'll have to wait and see if that actually does work out for them. So far at the moment, things are looking pretty pretty good for Alsen. They've still got enough rifles in the hand. And another eco round here for Wybrower. We'll have to now just keep an eye on the push perhaps. A bit of an aggressive CT push here from the CT side. We're seeing Ralan Phoenix taking out Sani in. Pretty much uh, a uniform round here for the Alsen team. The bomb goes down, so it's additional finances here for the T side. And uh, Soz on the last one left here. It doesn't look like he's going to be trying any aggressive uh, maneuvers he's rather going to sit back and try and take a gun from one of the Alsen members but at this moment things are looking pretty you know pretty good now three rounds in the bag here for Alsen haven't lost a gun they might lose one it's also now coming uh Sozen coming in now but it's not really in any sort of vicinity of the T side yeah you might just peek at the alley side area and get taken out which is the case. Ooh, that's not really going to work for him because he's probably not going to get the, the relevant bonus money. But now we're going to see the buy run in effect here for the... Oh, sorry, the win run money. He, the buy run effect here now for Wybroa. Or Hyper Shots. And um, an AWP purchase now from Rallon Phoenix. Obviously the AWPA for the Alsen team. We've seen the bomb go down the little ladder sort of area. They're obviously going to try and do a little bit of a flank maneuver on the mid side and then from Ali. And I think it's a little, kind of a little static play here from Alsen at the moment. We've seen Ataz Latayasa. Latayaka. I don't, I don't know how to... I'm just going to call him Lat, because <laughs> it's quite, uh, quite a name, a mouthful. So Lat there going down to the um, Wybrova team there, Nero picking up the kill. So it's a 4 and 5 situation, and we can still see the CTs pretty well spread out on the overview here, seeing that Sanian is got the back on the inside bomb site. Three guys, obviously, quite far back. Nice exchange here from Damon as he takes out Holly. Or Holy. And I think the exchanges is very important here for the CT side. It is a 4-1-4. Four four. So the CTs are slightly spread thin across the two bomb sites here. We're seeing the inside bomb breach now come into effect. Some spam play. Nice play from Sunny in there. And then a good exchange here. Ooh, rather not getting. Rather Phoenix trying to get himself another orb shot there. Just fails to do so. Gets taken out. Sunny in or Mifu actually taking out uh, Rallon Phoenix there. So... Well played here from the CTs at the moment. It is a two-on-one situation. Gets taken out. And this will be the first round here for the Wyber Rover team. Or AKA Hyper Shots by the looks of it. Win. 
So a, a good start there for the CTs after the three rounds, losing to the pistol round here. Um, they're going to have to lock down quite a lot to get to that 10-round mark in order for them to have a, a pretty decent second half and chasing. Um, because, in my opinion, if you start off at the CTs, it, it, it does get easier. You have that slight psychological effect here. But Rallon Phoenix doing very well for his team with a double kill. Now the exchange from the CT side in effect here as two of them go down. It's a three-on-three -three situation looking very promising at the moment for the, C the T side. We're seeing another kill there from Lat. Damon will get the last kill here and the score now 4-1 to Elson. Elson really uh, doing very well as the T-side in actual fact. The CT's not being able to take that round. Uh, it was an important one for them. It's forced the eco once more on round 6. And um, well, we probably will see Elson going through getting themselves a 5th round here. Quick look at the overview here. Let's see what Strap is in play here. Some mid play, aggressive mid play from the Alston team. They know the eco round is in effect for the CT side, but uh, nice play here from Holy as he manages to take one. And then, oh, no knife kill there, unfortunately. <laughs> but Alston walk away with only one uh, gun lost there. Another uniform type of uh, strat here for, well, uniform round here for the Alston team. Uh, Saws on the last one left. He's going to try and pick a gun. Ooh, almost tries to get the headshot there with the USP. Fails to do so, unfortunately. And the Alston team, well, 5-1 to them. So a very, a very good start here for Alston, specifically on the T side, having five rounds already in the bag after seven, well, six rounds of play. And... Um, they perhaps could even get to that 10 round mark. Quick look on the bomb and uh, the rest of the team situation here. We're seeing three guys playing the little ladder, two guys playing the alley very defensively. And um, I, I do expect a bit of an outside breach once more, perhaps. Or a little bit of a, a loop around or a rope around here from the alley players. But it is another eco around here for the Wybrower team. So this should be basic uniform round once more we see Nero here with the Deagle at least he can do the damage hopefully with one or two good headshots could swing the round in their favor we're seeing a bit of an inside breach and stage here from the uh, Alston side and now we're seeing Matty coming in from the alley side area there is two CTs available the breach just kind of holding holding back at the moment Mitchy doing quite well taking out Mifu and then Sozan with the CZ75 taking out Matty there so a very nice round in actual fact here for the CTs managing to capitalize as best as possible they needs to be careful though as we see Holy going down now it's a three on three situation the CTs have got guns in the bag here they've got an AWP and an AK well there the AK goes down as uh, Lat comes in from behind and uh, Diamond taking out the Orpa Neo, sorry, not the Orpa, the other player there. So Sanian is the last one left here with the AWP. He's trying to get a pick but fails to do so there. And uh, well, Alsen losing too many guns in my opinion uh, on that eco round, but they have got the finances still to back them. And uh, we shall see now the buy run again in effect here for the Wybrow side, um, aka Hyper Shots. So a full M4A1S purchase here from the CT side. Quick look at the overview. Aggressive play outside the mid. Again, we see Mitchy moving towards the lower, um, the inside, a little ladder, ladder area. He's dropped down. Smoke grenades being thrown in. Counter flashes, counter nades as well from the CT side. Now there's a bit of a regrouping of that bomb. That bomb might actually make its way on the inside. Uh, as we're seeing uh, one of the awesome players drop it off. Good pick here from Matty's. He takes out Sozin. And um, it is a 5 on 4 favorable here to the T side. Holly needs to try and exchange. Oh, there we go. Rallon Phoenix with a great orb shot on Nero. So that opens up the alley side area. Great smoke on the right hand side to block off the CTs. 
And uh, we're seeing Lat and Damon picking up kills quite quickly. A little bit of a drop uh, back there from Sanien, not really being able to get the picks. And uh, Alsen, well, they get their seventh round, only losing one gun that round. Very good play here from the Alsen side. Uh, they are the favoured side to walk away with the victory, but uh, just looking at it at the moment, as T's, this might actually be their stronger side. We'll have to wait and see on the second round. Perhaps uh, Wybro has got a stronger T side as well and um, could cause or pose a little bit of a problem here for the Alsen team. We're seeing another eco round once again for the... Oof, once again here for the Wybro side, but uh, Alsen just really taking out the pistol players quite quickly. Mifu, or Mifu, managing to pick up an AK there, but not really doing much damage. So only one gun lost there for the Elson side. Score now 8 to 1. So, once again, the same pretty much static kind of uh, strat here from the Alsen team. Playing a couple of players around the alley, or one player around the alley, two in the mid, and then two in little ladder. A very effective strat, in my opinion, here when it comes to flanking. But uh, now, good lockdown here from Sunny, and as he takes out Rallon Phoenix. So, the Orpa out of play here for the Alsen team. So, the bomb is still kind of stuck in that mid side position. He might retreat, go inside, and they might just uh, rethink about an inside bomb breach here. Damon needs to be careful. We've seen ooh, an exchange there, but Nero doing very well. And Sunny in again with a double kill here, making it a triple here with the M4. And uh, adding a lot of value for the CT side here. We're seeing Michi, the last one left. Gets taken out there by Mifu, and well, good play here from the Wybrower team, managing to get themselves a second round, but woof, the, what a hill to climb. In my opinion, um, they're going to have to try and make it all the way up to seven to at least have an interesting uh, second half here, because the Elson side, in my opinion, are looking very strong. So quick overview look here again. We're seeing a full buy purchase with an AWP this time for the CT side instead of the standard M4 uh, A1S purchase. Nice play from Mifu there. Getting the touch on Matty. Holy also adding to the score sheet here. Nero coming in from the alley side area. Gets taken out there by uh, Lat or I think Norbiak is his uh, nickname. I'll have to confirm. I mean the users, one of the users there. Uh, indicating Norbiak in case I'm not too sure if that's the right one but anyway it is a three on four situation the CT's still managing control uh, over the T side here Mitchy quite low in the HP quick look now we're seeing the bomb moving on the inside here most of the CT's are predominantly sitting on the outside so this could work for them if they get in quite quick but Holy Julia taking out the bomb there and there we go, Random Phoenix with the AWP, getting himself one quick shot. Uh, still three CTs to contend with. He can do it with the AWP. But it is quite close play at the moment here. Nice play here from... The Elson team managing to equalize things up to a piece. Uh, Mifu quite low in the HP now. He's really going to have to get the right pick. Nice smoke here from the CTs. And nice play from Sunny in there with the M4A1S. He needs to be careful though because the last Alson player is still around. He can get the quick pick, which he does. Mifu on low HP here. Can he make it work? No, he doesn't. Nicely played there from the Alson uh, player, Lat or Norbiak. And the score now is 9-2. to two. Alson managed to claim another round back. Do they force the eco round? Doesn't look like it's going to happen as we see a good couple of uh, M4A1s being purchased uh, by the Wybro team. And, uh, well, let's have a quick look at the overview here. Are they going to change up their strats a little bit here? No, it looks like it is going to be a 2-2-1 from the... Polish side, Alsen. Aggressive play from Sani and gets the one pick there. The only player in the alley side area. He can get that gun run back. There we go. So additional guns. And he's the only one, I think, that was without a gun here. We're seeing Sozan now defending on the inside. Gets taken out there by Matty. 
And uh, a quick rotation now from the CT side. They need to take this round in order for them to keep themselves in the game. Ooh, Michi managing to trade off quite successfully here with the AK-47. Sees himself another one there. Takes out Nero. And it's a three-on-one situation here. Sunny, and it's got a lot of work on his hands if he wants to make it work. Gets taken out, unfortunately. And uh, Alsen get there. Ten rounds. Fantastic play here from the Alsen team. So score 10-1 to Alsen at the moment. Another eco round in effect here for the CT side. They've had way too many eco rounds in my opinion. Um, unfortunately, just not getting the cohesion set straight. Or sorted out in actual fact. Nice play here. Nero, the only one managing to get a pick here for the CT side. And uh, it is a two-on-four situation. If you're getting picked off there, not in the right position, I do believe. He probably would have done better on the top side. Uh, near the last one left, he's got four uh, terrorists to try and take out. He's going to try and go for the bomb planter. Mm, not really going to work because Mitchie's going to catch him off guard. And that's 11 to 2 here for the Alsen team. Really, pretty much straightforward uh, in my opinion here. It's, it's not really much uh, a challenge for them by the looks of it. I, I just think that the, the Wybro side might just need to go back to the drawing board here. Just uh, figure out a few things here with regards to team cohesion. Maybe pairing up with each other or changing pairs perhaps. Could work there. There are various ways to try and improve your CS. Uh, Sanian managing to take, off, take out Ranlin Phoenix. Mifu with a kill here as well. Sanian then with a double. Nice play here from the CT side. We see Nero aggressively moving up the alley side area feeding the information through so we're going to see it possibly a few more cities move up holly trying to get himself in the position but uh maybe a little too aggressive there nice play here from sozan gets himself a double kill there and that's the third round here for the wiberoa team nicely played there by nero i think that aggressive play really helped them out there because he was able to feed the information through to his team and that got them into kind of a like a good position to try and take him on i think too aggressive play there from holly costed him a little bit there he should have maybe just stuck under the ladder and waited but um well that happens from time to time you know the decisions you make in this game so we're seeing another static play here from the Alsen team two guys playing the little ladder two mid uh, looks like their default hold and then dynamic play coming into effect here nice play here from mifu nero Managing to pick off two T's, yeah. They're trying to hunt down for this fourth round, but things are looking very dire for them at the moment. The bomb is going to be moving on towards the inside area. We're seeing Ranan Phoenix with the AK-47 this time, trying to get the kill on Sozin. Sozin doing very well. They're uh, taking down the bomb carrier. The bomb is dropped, so Matty's going to have to desperately try with that low HP. Doesn't really going to work, but nice play from Ranan Phoenix with a double kill here. He's got two more to take on. He's got two low HP, though. Gets taken out there by Sanian. And, uh, well, the Wybro team managing four rounds as CTs. A little too little, in my opinion. But we'll have to wait and see how the next half, or how the next half, uh, what the next half actually, in fact, holds out or holds for us. So let's quickly have a look at the overview scores here. Fantastic play here from Alsen. Um, Matty just a little bit low on the killing side, or the frag side there, but I guess he could be the support player. Sanian, the only one really featuring for the Wybro team here. 15 for 12 with a positive KPD of 1.3, I think, or 1.2. And uh, now just quickly looking at the, the pistol round strategy, we see two in the... the um, a little ladder area and then three in the alley side the breach coming into effect here for the T side They're moving around the back towards CT stairs uh, But Olsen is catching them off guard at the moment taking out two players for the price of one The bomb is going to be moving in towards the inside. I think this bomb plant is important for the Wybro team Sani in now trying to fend them off as they get the bomb down Bomb goes down here. So nice play here. Does the other T player make it? Oh. Does he make it out? No, it looks like he's going to be stuck behind that chain. He tries to get the pick. Doesn't do. And uh, I think all of them are aware now. Where? But look at Mifu. Mifu coming into a very interesting area. Getting one, two picks here. Uh, fantastic play. But he's not going to have enough time. And gets taken out there by Norbiak.
funny nicknames that uh, these players play with. We're seeing a second round uh, clarion for must purchase here from uh, the Alsen team. So they're obviously straight off onto the defense. They don't want a, pa a possible third round buy. Nice play here from Alsen. They locked them down completely. Only one member left on the Wybrowa team here. Holy... He's trying to make his way through the trains here, but not really doing much. Quickly having a look at him. Gets the one quick pick, though. And gets himself another one. So not bad play there. Two guns lost on the Ikarant. Um For Alsen there. So Wybro are now being able to purchase stuff there because of that first round bump plant. Adding that additional finances in. They're going to have to make this one work. Because if Alsen takes this, the snowball effect comes into play. And Alsen can pretty much cruise all the way into the 16 round mark. Taking this uh, map uh, from the Wybrower team. So a quick look at the overview here. We're seeing a large contingency of T-side players on the inside. Holly Jr. the only one playing the uh, alley side area. Or what? Ooh, fantastic pick there from Sunny Yen. So that already applies a lot of pressure now on to Alsen. Now the setup needs to be needs to be coordinated correctly here from the hyper shots Wybrower team. They need to try and coordinate a good, a good attack here using smokes and flashes, getting the bomb down and hopefully isolating the CTs from from entering the site. I think re-smoking is a really important um, ro well really important thing when it comes to train. Just causing that little level of confusion, I guess, for the CT side. We're seeing the smokes coming into effect here now as they breach in. Oh, unfortunate there for the Alsen players. He goes down. A nice one from Michi as he manages to take out Nero. But then Sani and spamming through the smoke. Getting the pick on Michi. It is a 4-2 situation here at the moment. We're seeing Rallin and his teammate coming in. Trying to get picks. And unfortunately going down there to Sozin. The last one left here is Damon. He's going to try and go for the one pick. But fail. Well, gets me few. But, uh, well, Sani in... Taking him down there. It's a nice play here from Wybro. And now getting themselves around. They needed that round desperately to stay in this game. And uh, we might just actually see that the the hyper shots, hyper shots uh, slash Wybro team here um, might be able to catch a little bit of uh, momentum going forward. And, and possibly equalizing it up here. We're seeing a full AK buy again. Eco round here for Alsen at the moment. But they are playing aggressively with the CZ75s. They get the first pick there on Holly. Damon now obviously trying to work his way in, but nice play from Sunny in here with a double kill. Sozin about to engage an opponent, takes him out. Nice play here from the Wybrower team. Sunny in doing very well here for his side, getting a quad kill. And uh, well, that's six rounds here to Wybrower. Another buy round in effect, possibly here. Uh, we're seeing a couple of guns being purchased up. An AWP, in actual fact, Ralan Phoenix will be playing with it. Two for Musses and two M4A4s. So, this will be the also important round uh, for the Wybrower team here if they want to continue their momentum. We're seeing three of them moving in towards the inside area. And that bomb is sticking around there. It doesn't look like it's going anywhere. We're seeing mid-side play and then a little bit of alley play. Now moving in towards back in towards the inside. And uh, we're seeing that mid-play also joining up now going. So it looks like they are prepping for an inside breach. Which was quite successful in the last game. Sunny in trying to get himself a pick. Gets one in the face. Manages to stay alive with 3 HP. So uh, this is very, very tough at the moment here for the T-side here. Sanyan, pretty much the impact player here for the Wybro side. Sozan coming in, gets a pick on one of the Alsen players. Uh, Norviak, I think that's his name. Nice exchange here from Alsen. Michi taking down Sanyan. Ooh, miss orb shot here from Rallon Phoenix. But he manages to take one of them down. So after all, it's not too bad. Ooh, he's in a bit of a... Well, he gets himself out of that situation quite uh, successfully. Only leaving two of the Wybrower players left. In actual fact, one. 
Lee trying to keep them off the, bo the bomb. Taking the picks doesn't do it. And that's a bomb defuse here for the Elson team. And the score is 14 to 6. So we're still seeing another buy run in effect here for the uh, T side. They're going to have to make it work. We're seeing Sunny and playing with the AWP. We might see some one-on-one -on -one action there between him and Rallon Phoenix. And uh, he's, got, he's trying to go for the, the alley shot there, which is not a bad idea, but needs to be executed based on the spawn. Nice shot there from Holly on Rallon Phoenix. He goes down to the upper out of play here. Well, this is a bit of a one-on-one -on -one action, I guess, between the Orpers here. Ooh, we're seeing Sanya now moving in towards the topside area. He can cause the damage, but he is getting flacked there by a lot of bullets. Gets taken out there by Matty. And it's a three-on-four situation. Favorable to the T side. They've got the numbers. Nice play there from Mifu as he takes out Matty. And uh, now they will be moving in towards the outside bombsite area here. A little bit of re-smoking in play. We're seeing Michi as well taking out Nero. Holly with a good exchange. Or Holly with a good exchange. So Michi, the last one left here for his team. He's going to he's gonna have to try and see if he can make it work. Gets the one pick on Holly. So Holly going to opt in for the AWP pickup here. He's going to go for the save rather. Should be able to work out for him. Just a little bit better now. He's got the AWP in hand. He needs to be careful though. He might just get naded out there by Mifu, which is not the case. And uh, yeah, he's just sticking it tight there. He wants to keep the orb there for his team, uh, which they do. So Ralan Phoenix will most likely pick up that uh, AWP. So nice play here from the Wibro side. 7 to 14. They are coming back slowly but surely. They are still seven rounds away. And we're seeing an auto sniper buy here from Michi. That's going to be fun to watch. Let's see if he can make it work for his team. He's going to be sitting on the mid-side uh, connector between uh, the two bomb sites. We're seeing again a very similar play that we saw in the first half from Alson. Sani in with the AWP taking out Ralan Phoenix. And the AWP goes down here for Alson. And a good comeback at the moment we are, ex well, we are seeing from the Wybrowa team. Oh, fantastic all play here from Sanyin. So we're seeing Di uh, Diamond picking it up. And there we go. Michi playing with the auto sniper. Gets the shot off on Nero. It looks like it is going to be an outside bomb. The outside bomb side is completely open. Over rotation here from the CTs have, could cost them this round. Good smoke uh, in effect here from the T side. And there we go. Sunny in with another kill. Three of them down. Three of them. Oh, he goes down there to Damon. Damon doing very well with the AWP here with a double quick double kill. So it is a 2 on 2 situation. I think it would be favorable for them to rather pick up the the rifles. But uh, Holy taking out uh, Mitchie there. And nice play here from me. If you're taking out Damon, so the AWP out of the picture. They're obviously searching around for it. They do pick it up. And, uh, well, Wybro are not, uh, not far behind at the moment, you know. Score 8 to 14. They are closing in slowly but surely. Six rounds difference between these two. Eco round in effect here for the Alston side. So this could possibly be another round here for the Wybro team. We're seeing that bomb moving towards the inside area. Again, one on the mid, one on the alley side area. Very similar play to Alston. It just seems that uh, this has turned to be more so of a team side map. Uh, in this particular case, aggressive play here. Oh, nice play there from Alson. Then we're seeing a decent amount of exchanges in place at the moment here for the Wybro team. But it is an eco round here, so more favorable at the moment to the CT side, I guess. Seeing Holy taking out Michi there, so there's only two players left. Matty now has got a gun in hand. He takes out Nero, so it is a 2-1-2. Two -two. This could work here for the Alson team. Only picking up the AWP, and there we see Mifu going down, also to an Alson player. Only, ooh, what a fantastic turnaround, eco round here from the Alson team. That's 15 rounds to their name. Fantastic play, in actual fact, there from Damon with the double kill. 
and the rest of the team really just supported very well. I mean, I was, I'm very surprised to see uh, that result in actual fact, as I thought that the Wybro side had that one in the bag because they had the guns, but uh, clearly they lost the guns, and, well, the Alston team capitalized off that particular run. So we're seeing an interesting buy here, a little bit of a, a pipe shotgun, uh, sorry, the sawn off from the Wybro team now. First pick going to Michi with... And there we go, Ranan Phoenix as well. Good isolation here from the CT side. They get the bomb. So some play on the little ladder area. We're seeing Mifu now and his teammates around little ladder now. Just needs to they just need to try and peek out. Ooh. Sozin going back top. Getting taken out there by Norbiak, I do believe. If you're the only one managing to pick up a kill here for his team, but that's a little too late. As Alson walk away there with the victory, 16 to 8, very well played. Uh, it was predicted that they would take it, but um, yeah, I think the Wybro side just really need to go back to the drawing board from a CT defensive perspective. There, uh, I th I think that's where they went wrong. Uh, in particular, they just didn't defend well. The cohesion wasn't there. The partnership wasn't there between the relevant players, and uh, well. It ended up uh, costing them a little bit there. So, guys, thank you very much for joining in for the cast this evening between uh, Alson and Wybrower. Um, my name is Burning Red, and please uh, follow my Twitch, uh, my Twitch, uh, Twitch stream, uh, NavTV underscore CS, and also uh, give my Facebook and Twitter a like if you are keen. Anyway, guys, have a fantastic evening. I will see you guys soon for the next ESL match.
We watch the sunrise, feelings of comfort. I'm earning my electrified. You got me satisfied. You got the bright lights, deeper than deep nights. So we're running out of time. We're running Got you by my side, holding on so tight We'll never say goodbye 